Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be looking at base locations in Livonia, but slightly different from what I did before. This is going to be for solo bases from anywhere between one and two players or maybe a small group. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first place we can be looking at is this place by the river up here. Now I'm going to get to a bit more free cam mode in a second, but it's this little barn just here. Now, there's a reason I've chosen this, this, this little barn, and not just this little barn, this location in general. So, the reason I've chosen this place in general is for numerous reasons, alright? Number one, and this is probably um, important to myself, for anybody who likes base building, is you are surrounded by trees. There are trees everywhere. Not just that, you've also got this little industrial village here where you can get planks, nails, saws. In the time that I've been messing around, I've come across quite a few things over this way to be honest it's um it's a little gold mine for building tools and all that sort of stuff you can also as well get on this roof um you can go up the ladder i can't remember which side it is as well but it's a good sniping point if you were ever to go up there but that's the reason why i've decided to go to go down this place also as well if you go up and check the map to show where we are and use the admin map but we are quite a far away from everywhere else so your north of the village is not much really there in that sort of situation where you need to be worried you've got trees and stuff all around as we've I've established in a small little base the other thing i like about this is you've got a lot of waterways so with the waterways and things like that you can do a lot of fishing there should be food on top obviously as long as you've got um, chlorine tablets as well you've got constant supply of water and there is a hospital i think in um, garbin there which is the closest one where you can go and obviously try and get some chlorine supplies the other thing I like about this spot as well is if we scroll right up to the map, you can tell that we are quite far north. So if you're going to get interrupted by anyone, I would have would have thought that they would be mostly sort of um, new spawns, fresh spawns. If you've established a place there and you've got yourself geared, then hopefully you should be able to protect yourself against them anyway. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I've decided to go there. Let's have a quick look at the base then. So I have set the small base up, and as you can see from outside, I mean you can't really tell there's a base inside there. And I'm just going to go in now and show you. Now, I think I got something like 1,100 and something storage in this base. Let's have a look inside. So that's what that's a little setup I've got. So we've got a fire barrel on going, which obviously the stuff in there I haven't lit the fire, but it's there. I've got a top. I've got a few barrels, a sea chest, obviously a medium tent, and one of these canopy tents as well. There's enough room in here as well to move around, so you're not really constricted, you can move around, and there's plenty of storage space, as you can see by flicking through it all. It's all quite easily manageable and easy to get to. Also, what I like about this place, I mean, I don't mind cars in the game, I try and go on foot as much as I can, because I hate just remembering where the car is and going back for it, or... If you've all been like me, where you've hit it and got to go and try and find a radiator or something, it does my head in, but... Also, I've put um, a car tent in the trees here. Now, yes, you can see the car tent, but it's not stand out. So, you've got a nice car tent in there. Obviously, I'm not locked the car or anything, but it's just something else you can have if you're into that sort of thing and having car tents or something away and don't want to make a massive base like you've got down there with tents and then coming off it. One of the reasons why you might come around this way really is to visit this little um, industrial estate, obviously if you're looking for building materials and things. But when you're standing here looking down, like I said I've got the doors open at the minute, but you can't, it's not obvious as the base down there. And even though you can see the car tent which is there where the cursor is, for those who can't see it, again it's not jump out the stand out. So that's the reason why I've gone for this place. Um, I've got this as number one on the video, but it's not my preferred number one spot, it's just that's the order I built them in. Okay, so without further ado guys, let's get to uh, base number two. Alright, okay, so we are at base location number two. So I'm going to show you first where we are on the map. So on the map, again, we're north. All these bases aren't north, it's just how I started. I think I've got three north and two down the south. So we are in this little building here, which is just behind us. Obviously, we're looking further down towards the river. So again, I chose this position for a couple of reasons. Again, we are quite north, so hopefully we should just have to deal with new spawns. Again, we're close to water, and again, we're close to trees. That is something of like a go-to of mine. I always like to be close to water, close to trees where you can build. Um, also, you've got a hospital up here again if you need supplies. You know, you've got two wells up further north if you haven't got the chlorine tablets. But it's just something where I like building. So where is this base then? Well, it's actually one of these buildings here. Now, what I like about this is you can't see it. There is only one exit and entry point. The rest of it is completely covered by um, stone wall, to be honest. 
So we're going to go in. The only thing, the difference with this base, though, it is a lot more constricting. So we can open the door. Obviously, you can put barbed wire and things on there if you want. And we are in. So again, there's a there's a bit of storage in here. So I've got a couple of barrels in there, sea chest. We've got a fire a fire bar if we if we needed a cook. And when we close the door, there we are. Look at that. You can even put a vantage point to shoot out if you wanted to. Obviously, people can shoot in, and you wouldn't have a great place to go if people were to shoot in. However, what I've noticed is they would need something to stand on. You can't really get in there. I mean, you could have a car or something come up to there, but you can't really get in otherwise. I'm not sure if you can crawl through that window. I've never tried it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried crawling through one of them windows. But as, as a base, I mean, and these are dotted all around the map. I've chose this one, like I said, for location. Location, location, location. So I've gone for a, a lot of trees, although we don't need to build... Um, although we don't need to build a massive amount with trees in this place. Because obviously you only need really the one gate and that completely covers up the whole entrance. Uh, it is there for you if needed and it is also somewhere as well. If you are going to attack the man to get out, the best place to go to me is through the woods. So that's the reason why I've gone for this location. Um, there's another little barn down here. If you're on like a PV server and you didn't have to worry maybe about getting attacked so much or you just wanted something different. Obviously you've got another little barn where you could do something similar like we did in base two in base one, sorry. There is the barn there you could look into. Um, I mean if you were on a completely PV server and it didn't matter, you could build a massive base on the football field here. Right next to the road, you can build as much as you wanted to on some servers. But again, I've I've opted for something like that just because it's different. I've not seen a base. I mean, there probably are loads of them, but I haven't come across one on a Vonia server yet that's been inside one of these little buildings. So it was just something a bit different. So yeah, that's base two. Let's have a look at base three. Okay, so base three. So why have we arrived here, and where are we? We are we have made our way down south, if I'm being honest. So we are just south of Nadborough. So we've started to make our way down. Obviously, and there is reasons why I've built here as well. Now, one thing you're going to notice for anybody that saw the that watched the last two is that I'm not actually by water. Now that's the only difference from this one. Now there is water, but it's over here. So you can again do fishing and things like that, but it's not massively close to any water source. What it is close to, which might be a little bit of a problem, but good if you get sort of built up here, is we're close to military camp. And we're also not far from Nabra, which is probably one of the bigger cities there, or one of the bigger cities I like to play around in anyway. It's got a massive military camp, um, hospitals, water, and all that sort of good stuff. So let's have a look at the setup then and see why I've chose this position. So this position, what I like about this is, number one, you can get up on top of the roof. It's just a matter of jumping on there, jumping there, and jumping up. Number two... You can see that I've blocked off all the windows. Now with these log cabins, they are great, they're very spacious and things inside, but I would recommend blocking off windows, especially if you're on a PvP server. Uh, for those that don't know the difference with PvP and PvE, PvE is just player versus environment, play PvP is just player versus player. So in other words, you can be shot at. But we've got a gate there, we've also got another gate coming inside as well. Now when we come inside, again I've set this up a little bit different, so we've got a few wooden crates on the table, We've got the sea chest, we've got a fireplace, which I am putting anything in. And we've also got a couple of barrels here, another wooden crate. So, plenty of room for storage on this in this one. I mean, personally I would go for more of barrels. Obviously barrels crates, you're not going to get a small tent in here. And if you were to squeeze a small tent, then it would take up a lot of space. Something that you may get in here is a canopy tent. You may be able to put that right over the table down here and have an extra space where you can just walk under. But again, like my last two video, uh, like my last two sorry locations, you're exactly by trees. Again, good for building and obviously good for getting away. Now this is a little nook. I mean, I quite like it. It's quite discreet. I mean, even up here, you can't really see it. See the top of it. I mean, you'd have to be sort of coming towards it on the map to sort of get there you've got a few rocks and cliff faces around which ain't going to cause a problem the, like I said people are going to be drawn to this I mean they are going to be um, aiming for this I haven't played around too much on Livonia since the um, since they brought in the chemical airdrops and things like that so I don't know whether you're going to be far enough away from there without getting smoked out I think you would be I don't think they come that close but like I said that's not something I've tested if that does get if that does get a nice little green poison drop, you would be far enough away. So if we just take a look around, we are pretty much in the middle of forest. 
again, something... If I'm ever getting attacked on a PvP server, the first place I go is the woods. Pushes up through the woods, zigzag and all that sort of good stuff to get away. And there are lots of forest areas to get away from there. You would have to be careful, obviously, heading this way. You're going to be up, you're going to come up against some barren land where you could get sniped at. But again, you'd have to be falling through the trees for that. But I mean, yeah, I just think this is a really neat location. It's on its own. If you like being out of the way and keeping, your, keeping yourself to yourself, then I recommend it. Base location number four. So base location number four. This is slightly different. I mean, I have built in the middle of one of these concrete walls. I'm going to show you right round first. So if you ever come across these on Livonia, obviously it, they are quite unique. I, I quite like them. They're just something different that's on Chinaris. The only downside to where I've built, which I only realised after I built because I'm an idiot, but you can actually get over the top of this wall by climbing up here and jumping on the fence. So if you were on it, you would have to fortify that a bit. I recommend sort of barbed wire. But you can jump over, you can run across with this tarp and land in. But if you've managed to fortify the top walls, you're in quite a good spot. You can also fortify this a bit more if you wanted to as well, with more gates, more um, barbed wire. And there is quite room for a bit of storage. I mean, this does move. Like you see, it's a wreck. It's not one that spawns in. So you've got a medium tent in there. We've got some sea chests. We've got a hunting scope. Obviously, that's just spawned there. But we've got a few crates, a couple of barrels, more barrels on a fire barrel. You can as well get a vehicle in here. So the reason this gate opens out like that, and I have met them in the middle, is because you can drive a vehicle up and park a vehicle right in the middle there. Again, the downside is this. Now, when after I started building this base, I just liked the spot. So I thought I would just try and run around, and then I realized you could do this. So it's not the most... Yeah, it's not the most secure of bases, depending you can get right round. But if you were to block this wall off here with some barbed wire, what you could do, what I would recommend, is putting a barrel there, standing on a barrel, building a fence, and just putting barbed wire on the top, because if people are to jump up, they're instantly going to get cut two or three times by the barbed wire before they can run off and get into there. Um, yes, they'd still be able to get in, but they would take a big bleed, and obviously, they'd, you know, it's just one of them things. Why this location? So why this location, and where am I? So we'll go back to the trusty map. So, again, I'm down south. I'm just next to Polana. So you've just seen on the map, obviously, where we are. Down here is a good water source, again, for fishing and getting water and all that sort of stuff. Again, we're surrounded by trees. I don't want to keep preaching on about it, but it's just a go-to that I like to have in place. The other thing that you do get down this sort of area is you haven't got to sort of wander too far, is you get wolves. Now, yes, wolves on one hand, they can jump out and scare the shit to you sometimes, but on the other hand of that, there's constant meat. Downside, again, if you're shooting all the time to get rid of wolves, people are going to know where you are. So, again, take that as you will, but it is an option for you. We have two water sources. We have a town up here again. Differences with this one as well. What I don't like about it really is I like to sort of try and be somewhere which is close to a hospital. I mean, yeah, there's not much. Look, you could probably get some medical supplies in this military here. Um, you got Nadbro, or you can head up north. Um, up the road, but again, hospital is something that you want to be quite. I was saying that you don't have to be quite close to, but I like being close for hospital supplies. But there isn't one around, so I would suggest if you're heading down south to pick up some hospital supplies, things like bandages. I know you can use rags, but anything like morphine or anything like that you think you may need, I would arguably get that on the way down because once you're down, you can always head north again. But yeah. The other thing I like about this base where it comes two roads. You've got this small track there, but also the other side. You've got a relatively main road, so we'll just run up. So again, depending on what server you're on, whether you're on a PvP or PvE, there's the simple access for it. The base as well, yes, you can see it when you're driving past, but, I mean, you can't really see them fences. I put camouflage nets on them. If you were to come past here in a car, I doubt very much you would see that there was a base there. you just shoot past, wouldn't see it, even on foot if you're running past. If you weren't thinking about going into loot, then you probably wouldn't notice it. 
And again, just going back, we're on one of the main roads. So this road then would take you straight into Polana. I mean, there's not really much more out this way that you'd come out for. I mean, there's a small few bits and pieces, but somebody would have to be coming this way really to be heading off the map to come out this way. So hopefully you'd stay out of sight. Out, what's the saying? Out of sight, out of mind. So the last base we're going to look at today. Okay, so we're at the position of the last base today. Now, before I show you where we are on the map, does anybody recognize it? There are going to be a few Zeds I'm going to have to kill because they normally are when I come here. Every time I've built here or spawned here to check that they're... So we'll just get rid of a few of these. There's normally two or three of them, but... Just double check. Are we in luck? Is it only the one? Oh, no. Are we done now? Alright, okay, cool. Well, if, we, if any more Zeds come, we'll deal with them as when they come. Hence, I got uh, an M4. So, where are we in the map? Let's show you where we are first. So, we are... Probably can't see me in the map there thinking, Chris, where the hell have you put this one? Well, we are way up north. Now, this is an area that I've not really come to much, to be honest. Whenever I spawn in, I tend to head south, like most people, I would imagine. But I wanted to try something different. So, again, water source trees. I'm not going to cover that again. We've covered it in detail. I don't think many people are going to come up this way. We are way up north. I mean, if I was to set the waypoint down there, what are we looking at? 15k. Yeah, one side of the map today, you're looking at 15k. So we are quite far up north and you're out of the way. Now, these houses, I've built in these houses before. If you've seen previous videos of my base builds, you would have come across them. But I do like these houses. You can put these gates there, fit them with barbed wire. And again, look at the storage. So we've got two two crates, we've got a fireplace, we've got another crate, we've got a barrel, another crate. I mean, that's before we even head upstairs. I mean, you can fill this up with barrels and crates. All right, there's some armor there if you need it. Again, barrels in there if you wanted to, wooden crates. Again, I've put a couple of barrels in here and some wooden crates. You get the gist. Sea chests are another one. These are really good. I would, to be honest, something I didn't do, I would block them windows up. I would put a uh, fence in across there just to protect yourself. But you've got good sniping points as well. So most of these windows you can see out of. Obviously, bear in mind if you can see out, people can see in. But you can see out of these windows something where you could defend, your, defend yourself, defend your base with. What I like about this again, you shut them doors, you can't see there's a base there. I mean, alright, yeah, you could if you were to block some of them windows up, you might see fencing through there, but... Yeah, you see the fencing, you can see through the windows, so if you were to put fencing up, again, yes, it would protect you, but on the other hand, people would see it. Like like a few of the other designs, would people come up this way? And why, why would they? Why would they head all the way up here? I mean, unless you're looking to base build themselves, but you're almost at the end of the map. I mean, you've got the castle up here they can come up and have a look at. I mean, I'm guessing that's military. So again, with this base, you're more out of sight, out of mind. So just a quick look at the map to show where these bases are. Now, again, these are my sort of ideas. You don't have to follow them. It's just something I like. But base one, north, by the river, food, plenty of storage, trees. Base two, you've got the concrete bunker, uh, the military little bunker things. Uh, yeah, again, water, trees, quite far north, close to hospitals and all that sort of good stuff. You've got a military camp up there, and you're not too far from Nardbury. You can just head straight south. Base 3 then further south, obviously this is a bit more out of the way, not much close to much, um, not close to many things, but Nabra is not far away, but you haven't got a water site, site on source as close as the other ones. Um, base 5 is just down there, I realised I've done this, I've named this base 5, but on our one it's base 4, again close to water, fishing with these, got a couple of little buildings here. I did look at this building, but it was one of these um, shacks with no windows no doors and things it's just a bit too open no roof either and then the last base we come up again quite far north again you've got access to um industrial farming and things across here you've got hospitals and stuff i know my first video i've done in a while if you've got to this far in the end obviously this video is not going to be the greatest but i'm going to try and get back into it but thanks for watching drop the sub if you liked it and all that sort of good stuff and i shall catch you later cheers